Hey, everyone. Uh, today is a important day. It's a big day in that it's a day we can be proud of some things. We're proud of a lot of things. And it's a day we could um, feel pride in what we've been able to do collectively. Um, but it's also a sad day because a lot of you guys have been together in here for five months, seen the same person across the table, seen our various bad COVID haircuts, um, and, uh, you know, going through what's been a tremendously difficult time for our country. You know, going through a pandemic, going through tragedy, going through injustice, going through civil unrest. But through it all, we've been here. What's even better is we've been here together. You know, look around this place. Every race, religion, age, color is represented here, doing something together. The outside world sometimes doesn't think this is possible, right? The outside world likes to sometimes tear us apart. But what we did for five months was extraordinary. We came together in March. No one knew what this thing was about in March. You know, March 21st, I had something, I had a prototype that Howard and Marks worked on to share with the Navy Yard. I went to, went to the Navy Yard March 21st. And then, and then uh, right after that, um, that very day, they said, you know what, somebody else has an idea too. Our friends at Bednark have an idea. And they said, why don't you two guys get together so that you could build it at scale for what our city needs. Good idea, right? That weekend, we talked on the phone. That Monday morning, March uh, 23rd, we had a handshake agreement. By that same day, we were cutting parts. And after we cut those parts, by two days later, March 25th, we were assembling face shields. By the 27th, we had shipped our first batch of face shields. By the 31st, we had shipped 120,000 face shields when people needed it most, when doctors, nurses, nobody had any face protection. And today, as of today, we've done 2,635,000 face shields. Do you, know how many, do you know how many people we impacted? How many people we kept from getting sick? How many people are alive today? Because of what you guys did. The world was running out of Brooklyn. It was the hottest of hot spots. You guys didn't leave. Some of you came in to help people you don't know. You were essential. And I'm honored to have been part of this and worked with you on this. I looked up what essential, the definition of essential in the dictionary was. It's absolutely necessary and extremely important. For the rest of your lives, you know you were essential. You were essential to your city, your state, your country, and to each other. You took care of all those people. And I could not be more proud of what we accomplished together.
But uh, today's also a day of celebration. We got a barbecue out there. We got some awful karaoke going on. <laughs> like, step it up, someone's gotta have talent, right? <laughs> you know, there's too many of us, too many of us. And it's not me. <laughs> but just God bless you guys. Thank you. Be safe. And you know what? If our city, our state, and our country needs us again, I know we'll be here. And I know you guys will be here. And look at, you know, if we need it. And frankly, I hope we don't. But if we know, if they do, we know we're made of tough stuff. And we'll be back. So thank you for everything you guys have done. Enjoy today. God bless you.